Hi, good morning, everyone. So we are going to start the Anyone Python uh, episode three. So last two episodes, we installed the Python. So we have a program language. So actually what we installed on our PC is a Python interpreter. So what is the interpreter? So as we discussed, interpreter is a kind of translator. So to translate, the human related language is a high level language it's a source code so python is for the user it's not for computer so computer cannot understand the python language itself so we need a translator so which is called the interpreter so interpreter translate the python language to machine language so then computer specifically cpu can understand what you want. So we are ready to use the Python for the programming. In this, the Anyone Python season one, so we'd like to use Carol the robot. So Carol is the name of a robot, it's a software robot. So we can control the robot to learn how to use Python. So Carol is uh, uh, working inside the Carol world. It's a rectangular type the cattle world. So it can move south, north, east, west. It's a full direction. However, cattle is only moving one direction. So we need to change the direction. So another command is the turn left. Unfortunately, cattle can do the only turn left. So what if we want the cattle turn right? So we can do three times up the a turn left, so turn left, turn left, turn left will be turn right. So that is the second thing Carol do. So third one is there is a beeper, it's a diamond shade, the beeper. So Carol can actually pick up the beeper if there is. Or Carol also put beeper, so on the spot. So Carol can do only full command. Move, the turn left, and also pick beeper and put beeper. So using this full command, we are going to learn how to use Python. It's very interesting. We know the only full command, but we can do a lot of things. So that is the power of using Carol the robot. So we are going to use such a the Carol the robot. So we have Python. So last episode, we the, know about the Carol. Then we, now, we are ready to start the Python programming to control the robot, Carol robot. But how, can, how do I start? So actually, the, you are able to uh, start to use the Carol the robot uh, with the Python program language, but it's not easy. So today we are going to learn, I'm going to introduce the very nice the software, which is called the PyCharm. So, we are going to install the PyCharm on your PC or laptop or notebook. So then the, we are going to learn first the Py, Python program using PyCharm. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do today. So please, the, as I the, ask you, the, during the annual Python lesson, so please the, make the available your web browser so either Chrome or Safari. So we are going to use the internet, the browser a lot. So please the, uh, the start your web browser. Also, if you don't understand the, what I'm saying or the one I'm explaining, or if you got the error, so first thing is that you can ask, you can ask to TA. The TA is available always, so you can ask the TA using chat box. If TA is not available or something the, uh, the shy, so you can always search the Google, believe me. So Google actually answer most of your question because you are not the first person who got the, such an error. So probably the other people already met the, such a same problem. So you can ask the, if you have any problem, the ask to the Google. Then you can search the Google and find the error. So please use your web browser. Also, another thing is that we are going to install the today PyCharm 
So always the PyCharm should be available. So after you install the, uh, the program. Okay, so let's, before we start the, uh, the installing the PyCharm, so I'm going to first introduce a little bit about the operating system. So what is an operating system? To explain about that, uh, let me change it. The, our the whiteboard. So start the sharing. Okay, I believe the, you are able to see the our the whiteboard. So my iPad. This is a quite old one, but still it's good enough to explain about the my lecture. Okay, so first class I mentioned about the this one. Do you remember what is this? So this is what? Yes, this is our computer. So we are going to use the computer. So specifically, what is a computer by the way? So computer is, what is a computer? It's a thing, it's a something. It's a, a thingy that can compute or calculate. Calculate what? Compute what? Data. So specifically nowadays, when we are talking about a computer, computer is electronic device with a power. So electric power is a device that can compute, the, that can calculate the information and data. So also we talk about the main component of the, such a computer. One is the CPU. So CPU is the main part of the computer that can compute, calculate the data. Where is that such a data? Yes, that is in the memory. So the CPU can the bring a data to the CPU, then the calculate and save back to the memory. So this is a basic operation of what computer is doing when you are using computer. Sometimes the memory is not big enough. So we need the storage, like the file system. Then they are connected to each other using bus. So this is the very basic computer architecture. So in computer science, the study computer architecture is one important area, but we cover the computer architecture within five minutes. So that's pretty much enough right now. Then eventually a user like us, so we are going to use the, this computer, but we don't know much about the, such a, the computer. It's an electronic device and the, when you open your computer, the co open your cover or the you see inside, nobody understands uh, something, the device or a board and the wire. So it's not easy. It's almost impossible to use the, such a computer. If somebody, even though somebody give as a gift to such a computer, you cannot use it. So to use, to make the user easy to use such a computer, hardware, so we need something in between. So what's in between, what can help a user make the easy to use the computer? That is, it's called the operating system. So OS, the operating, the system. Operating system is, uh, what is this? It's actually software. So computer architecture, computer is hardware. How, on the other hand, the operating system is a software. The software is the program. So this software can have the user to use the computer. So in other words, if you have the new computer, but if that is just the hardware, so you need to purchase the operating system. Nowadays, such an operating system 
are included when you buy a new computer. That doesn't mean the operating system is free, no. The Apple, they include the price of the operating system already. So when you buy the Dell computer or HP computer, it's the operating system, right? The Windows is already included in your price. So it's not free. So we need to buy, sometimes it's a free. There are free operating system. So we, need such a helpful operating system to use computer. So let's see the example of the such a, the operating system. What operating system we have? Definitely Windows we have. So many of you already use the Windows. So this is a Windows operating system. Microsoft is the company name that Microsoft actually developed the Bill Gates developed the Windows operating system first time. So long, long time ago, it started from the Windows version one, version two, then version three was the commercial version. In 1990, uh, they, he released the commercial version. Then the, it's really nice operating system. So people loved it and the still, the many users use the Windows operating system. What else? So what other operating system do you know? Yes, another operating system is the Mac OS. If you are Apple user or MacBook, so if you are using the MacBook, this is the, probably you use the Mac OS operating system. So Mac OS is the operating system for Mac computer like the macbook or the mac air so these are the the mac os operating system for example i'm using the mac os operating system so what else can you define the operating system yes we have linux operating system so for example windows mac os are not free so when you buy a new computer, even though the Windows or the Mac OS are installed, it's already there, but you already pay so such an operating system. But Linux is a free open source. Open source means they open their programming code, everything. So everybody can use if they want free. So this is a free operating system. There is another the operating system, which is a similar as Linux, is a Unix operating system. So actually, the many of the computer nowadays we use are based on the Unix operating system. Then the Unix are very similar as the Linux, but the Unix was not free. So nowadays, some of them are free, the others are not free. So Linux actually the developed to make the Unix system free. So this is the not free, but still the Unix system is used in the commercial computer system. Then, are they all the operating system? No, definitely not. There are more. So for example, we have any other example of the operating system? So find your the cell phone, your the hand phone. Do you think it's a computer or not? Yes, it's a computer, definitely. It's a small, sometimes we call it a smartphone or the, the cell phone, but this is also a computer. It has a CPU, it has a memory, it has a storage and process. It's a definitely computer. Then that means it should have the operating system. So what kind of operating system? Yes, so we have Android. So Android is the also open source, the operating system for, it's developed by the Google. So Google actually the release their source code. So if you have the cell phone, you can install the Android, the operating system. Also we have, yes, we have an iOS. The, if you are using the Apple smartphone, iPhone, 
So you are using iOS operating system. There are many, 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 many other operating systems. So in other words, if you are using any computer, that means you have the operating system. However, the main problem of using such an operating system is they are not compatible each other. So for example, if you have the program running on your Windows, that is not running on Mac OS because Windows and Mac OS, they are totally different the operating system. So you should have, the, for example, we are going to install, we installed the Python before. So if you install the Python on Windows, if you copy the same program to the Mac, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Because Windows, Python, Mac OS, Python, they are totally different, the software. So we need to install separately. That was the reason when we installed the Python before. So I give the, uh, the instruction for Windows user that is different from one who use the Mac OS MacBook. So it should be different. Even though we use the same program Python, but their program actually are different. So that is the reason that today when we are the installing the Python program. Also, you need to check your operating system. If we are using the Windows, you need to download the Windows, the Python. So if we are using the Mac OS, you need to download the Mac OS, Mac version, the Python program. It's the same thing for anything, any program. So it depends on your operating system because of the, this reason. So then, Finally, we are able to, we understand the why we need to install the Python PyCharm separately from the operating system, uh, based on the operating system. Then the, we are going to install the PyCharm here. Okay, so let me go. Uh, before we move back to the, our the main window. Oops. So what is, uh, by the way, PyCharm? So I said uh, many, many times, so uh, PyCharm. So in this, the uh, anyone Python season one, what we're gonna do is that uh, we are going to learn the, this one, the Python. Then the why we need the uh, PyCharm to use the Python. So PyCharm is not actually the Python. They are different. But the, when, what we're gonna do uh, later with the Python is we are going to do the coding. So everybody knows what is a programming coding? It's a creating the source program. We are going to create the program that is called the coding. So we make the code. Then how can we make the code? So you can type the code, the programming code, using what? At that time, we are going to use the PyCharm program. So PyCharm is the editor. So it's the editor to code the, the programming code. It's the editor. So for example, when you write to your essay for your English class, so what program are you using? Probably you are using MS Word. What other program? So MS Word is not English or language. It's a MS Word. It's the tool, software to edit your essay. It's the same thing. When you write the code for your the program, the Python program, so we need the editor. So what kind of editor? So we are going to use a Python. Then can I use other editor? Definitely yes. So you can use any editor when you are doing the programming. So sometimes the people say, so I know Py how to use a Python. I learned the PyCharm. That doesn't make sense. PyCharm is not the program language. PyCharm is the editor, okay? So for example, if you 
are taking English class. I learned how to speak English. How I know I know how to write the in English. So you can say that such a thing. But if you are saying I know, I learned how to use the MS Word for English. So it doesn't make sense. So same thing. So you cannot. You don't. You should not say I learned the PyCharm. No, PyCharm is just the editor. It's to help for coding. So when you learn the Python, however, if you are using the such an editor, so sometimes it's very, very easy to code, or sometimes it's a simple to run the program. So that is the reason the many people, the most of the developer using such a programming editor. So this programming editor is called the IDE. So it's called the IDE. So IDE means it's an integrated, integrated developing environment. So it's called the IDE. So IDE is a software when you develop the computer programming so it has it has id has the user to edit programming code so pycharm is the only ide no there are a bunch of others so i will show you such an example uh, by getting back to our the yes this one. So we already discussed about the, what is an OS, and the, this is the ID. So ID is integrated development environment. Okay, IDE. So PyCharm is one of them. It's a software. It's a program. It's a program for programming the code. It's an editor. It's a coding tool. Okay, so what other IDs so you can use? For example, if we are using the Java, so Java has, the Java can be developed by NetBean or sometimes Eclipse. These two are most popular. If you are using different IDE, it's fine, okay? And also, if you are interested in the Android program development, you can use the Android Studio. There are others, but Android, and Android Studio is most po po popular software. And also, I'd like to learn C Sharp .NET program language. So at that time, you can use the Visual Studio. Actually, Visual Studio support much more program language, mostly it's uh, the Microsoft program language, C Sharp, .NET, C++, so on, but Visual Studio can be used for even Python. So many of the my students actually use the Visual Studio for Python programming also. What about the other the IDE for Python? So Anaconda is also very popular because it's very powerful to manage the package library. So if you do not know what is a library package, don't worry, okay? Later, there may be chance to uh, introduce what are they. And among them, so we are going to use the PyCharm IDE. So PyCharm, the reason why I select the PyCharm is, PyCharm is simple, simple to use, and it's a very intuitive, intuitive the program. I mean, the software means it's easy to learn. So we don't have to study, we don't have research on the, such a, a program. So in this class, uh, in this episode, we are going to the, use the, such a PyCharm IDE for Python programming. Okay, so this is uh, the PyCharm. So how can we install? So you can go to the website, which is called the JetBrains. So I'm going to copy the link. 
on your chat box is the chat beam. So why don't you open your the well, let me so oh, let me change it. So our desktop, yes. So you probably can see the my the, so why don't you open your web browser then then copy and paste the or you can search the Google the jet brain PyCharm, then the, it will direct to the this the link. Okay, so this is the PyCharm, the home page, the web page. Then the first page is the download. We are listing this website to download the PyCharm. Okay, so you can click the download. And this time, there are two options. So one is the professional, another one is a community. Professional is not free. So if you pay for the professional, so you can use the PyCharm for many different languages like the web development, HTML, JavaScript, SQL, database, and many, many other. But we don't use such a thing. Also, we don't want to pay for the PyCharm. Instead, you can select the community version. Then you can download, then click. So depending on your operating system, we learned what is operating system, it may be the automatically select your operating system and program, PyCharm program. So in my case, uh, the, I'm using the Mac OS, so it's uh, automatically select the Mac version, the PyCharm is a DMG file. So if you are using the Windows, this is our the Windows, then, Uh, because I'm connecting the my Windows using the VNC viewer, it takes a little bit time. So it is around the 380 megabyte. So it may take the time depending on your the internet speed. So let me Okay, so it's very slow to connect the my the windows. Let me the little bit the scale down to save the time. Okay. So if you are ready, uh, I think this is still downloading, I believe. So it may take the several minutes. Let me try to reconnect to this one. It takes a time. Okay, so mine is done. So if you successfully the download the disk, you can the double click and the start the installation. Okay, so let me connect the, my windows again. And, and Okay, then going to the PyCharm, yes, finally. So here, the, if I click the download and the community version, so it's a downloaded. Actually, I already downloaded this one. So let me start with the so cancel and the click. So I already installed the PyCharm 
on my the MacBook, so I'm not going to install it again. Instead, I'd like to show the example of the Windows, so then the, you can the follow the me. So if you download the file, it's a very straightforward. You can start the click the yes, then the, it will start to install, and yes, and uh, it's a location just next, and then the empty folder, okay. So this is not the empty. So let me new Python. In your case, because I the installed the several time, it asks. Okay, so then the, here the you can, you know, it depends on your preference. If you want to use the Python, the for always for the Python file, you can select the .py file, the its association, and then the, you can the, select the other option. But it's up to you. It's not the important. And click next, and uh, it's uh, the, your menu. Then it's uh, start uh, installing. Okay. So meanwhile, so I, while the this one is uh, installing, so I'd like to you the in the introduce why PyCharm is uh, the selected in this uh, annual Python. So PyCharm is uh, the provide the most powerful to manage the project. Actually the Python, the manage the, the program as a file and folder. Then the PyCharm actually follow that the characteristic. So you can easily uh, connect the existing folder and Python file as a project so in python it's called a project instead of folder so uh, we are going to the test the first test program as a folder okay so it's completed so if you the click the this one the python will be started and we don't need this so yes the python is starting then the do not import the setting, okay? Then the here, the skip the uh, remaining. It's a set default. Okay, so if you are ready to, if you can see that this window, you are ready to start the PyCharm. So in case of the map, so Mac is the almost the same thing. So you can see that this right hand side is the welcome window for the uh, on Mac OS MacBook, and left hand side is for the Windows. It's a welcome window. It's basically the same interface. So if we are using even even though I'm going to use the Mac OS version, so but you are able to follow me. Okay, so. Please give me the thumbs up the, if you are able to see the, this one. So I'm going to wait a couple of me, couple of more minutes to the follow me. So if you are ready, please give me the thumbs up, then I can move to the next step. So it's basically, the you can go to the jetbrains.com to download the PyCharm file. So after you download it, just to start the installation, then you can continue. Next, 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 we select only the default option. Then finally, you are ready to start the program. Okay. So everybody ready? So let me close the windows, the, uh, the installation. Then the, I'm going to use the, uh, the Mac OS, but it's basically the same thing. Okay, so we are ready to test. 
So this is the installation guide. I'm going to make the, this the PDF file the available on the, your the class site. So the later you are, if you fail to install the uh, PyCharm, so you can use the, this the uh, PowerPoint file to follow the instruction. Okay. So this is a Windows version. Okay. And this is the Mac version. So basically it's the same thing. Okay, so next thing is the after you complete the installation, we are going to test it. So we installed the Python before, then the, we installed the PyCharm, which means we are ready to use the Python using PyCharm. So sometimes if you install the PyCharm first, then followed by the Python, the PyCharm does not know where is the Python. So it is a good idea when you install the Python and PyCharm first, the Python first, then next the PyCharm IDE, then PyCharm know where is the Python like that. Okay, so let's move on. So we are going to the setup, the configure the here. So to start the configuration, we are going, you are going to click the configure bottom right corner. So bottom right corner, so you can click the configure. There are several the menu for configuration. Configuration means it's to set up the, your Python. So main thing that you need to set up is we are going to specify the Python from the PyCharm. As I said, PyCharm is not Python, it's an editor. So PyCharm should know where is the Python. So please click the preference. So you can click the preference. So Windows user is the same thing. So if you click the preference, it will be like the, this, or the similar. So left-hand side menu, there are a bunch of different menu. The please find the project interpreter. So there are other options. So if you are getting familiar with this pipe, PyCharm, so you can the change the key map, the background color. Later, you can do whatever you want. But uh, right now, we are going to use as it is default. But uh, you can set the uh, one thing we need to do is we need to specify where is Python. So that is project interpreter. Please select the project interpreter. Okay, then right hand side, the click the down arrow. So if you click the down arrow, down arrow, so there bottom, you can see the show or the show or. So please click the show or. Then the, if you already installed the Python before, there are many, the different Python. But if you install the Python first time, the last episode, you may see the only one, that is Python 3.8. I will show you the example of the Windows later, but if you can follow me, please select the show or then Python 3.8. One more time. So you can click the configure from welcome window. If you click the configure, so then select the preference. So if you select the preference, there are many, many different preference menu left hand side. Among them, select the project interpreter. Project interpreter, then project interpreter, you can click down arrow, then the show all. So after the list of the, all the Python, select the 3.8, 3.8. So in my case, the 3.8 is here. So then the, okay. So I already select the 3.8, then the, you can select the OK, which means now you are ready to use the Python for Python programming. Okay, so this is the example of the 
Mac OS. Let's go back to the Windows user. So Windows is the basically the same step. So you can select the configure here. Okay, then the setting. The, here the, you can click the setting. So among the different menu, you can select the Python interpreter. So Python interpreter. So if you install the Python first time, so probably the Python interpreter is the blank. So you can click down arrow, show all. Okay, if there is nothing on your the box, you can click the plus button right hand side. Plus button right hand side. The, click the plus button. Then after you click the plus button, click the system interpreter. System interpreter. So system interpreter, then the, you can select the your 3.8. If you can see the 3.8, select, then OK. So one more time. So one more time. So if you are installing the first time, the please the click the configure, then select the setting. Then the, you will see the preference, the configuration, the window. And left hand side, there are many different menu. Select the Python interpreter. So Python interpreter. Okay. Then the Python interpreter right now is a blank. You can click the show or the show or. So there is nothing inside because it's the first time you install. So you can click the plus button. Then, so among left hand side, there are different, but select the system interpreter. Left hand side, the system interpreter. Now you understand what is an interpreter. Interpreter is a really program, okay? the Python program, so that you install the interpreter. So among the different ones, so you can select the 3.8, 3.8, then okay. So you can see the selected one, okay. Then the, this one is the selected. So your window may be like the, this. Then you can select the apply, or the, also you can select the okay. Then you are ready to use pie chunk. Okay, so one more time. So let me show you how to do that. Click the setting, then the left hand side, the Python interpret is already selected here. If not, the show or so you can add a plus, then the system interpreter, then the select the 3.8 that you have the install the before. Okay. So this is the uh, everything that you need to set up to use PyCharm for your Python programming. Okay, so let me wait a little bit more than the, you are able to follow me. Okay. So I'm going to explain one more time using the slide. Okay. So using the slide. So to install the PyCharm on your Windows or the MacBook, the first, you need to go to the, the PyCharm, the website is a JetBrain. Okay, then select the download. Okay, so select the download. Then next. So you can select the configuration, then select the setting. Then the right hand side, there is a project, the project, the, Python interpreter, a uh, project interpreter. So, but if there's nothing on your right hand side, you can click the down arrow button, down arrow button. Then the, you, if you do not see anything, mostly if you install the first time, the PyCharm, there's nothing on this window. So you can click the plus button, right hand side, plus button, right hand side, then the, Left hand side menu, select the system interpreter. So system interpreter means the Python interpreter that you install. So you can see the 3.8, 3.8. So select, then okay. So this one is selected, then the, pretty much you are ready to use, okay.
MacBook is the almost the same. So you can see the configuration bottom right corner. Then the, you can the select the preference. The name is slightly different, but the basically same thing. So preference the window. So you can select the project, the interpreter. If there's nothing here, so you can select the this the down arrow thing. Then the, if there's nothing. The, on the windows, so you can select the plus button, sometimes bottom, sometimes right hand side. Okay, so just uh, find the plus button, then click the plus button, then the new window, you can select the system interpreter, then the select the Python version. Okay, please, the, it's a, just the, the straightforward step. If you the, follow me, then the, you are able to the set up to use the PyCharm for Python program. Then you are ready. Okay, the last step is that we need to test whether the PyCharm and Python are well configured and also ready. Okay, to do that, we are going to use the sample program. Oops. So I'm going to share the, this link on your chatting box. So please the, click the this. So in my case, so I'm going to download using the, let me down. Okay, so you can, the copy and paste. Then download the file. You can click the download of uh, the file. This is a zip file. So zip file is a compressed file that includes several folder and file. So we are going to use the, this file. So please go to the this one there. You can download this file to the anyone Python folder. So I ask you to create the anyone Python folder. So we have the anyone Python intro that zip file. Okay, so this is the file you can download. So then the download the file on your desktop and anyone Python folder, then unzip. So you can double click, double click. Then unzip the file. You can see the folder like this. This folder has the intro.py file. So that is a test file. Whether your Python is okay, whether your the Python is okay or not, the we are going to test. So if you follow me the correctly, then the we are ready to use the this file from the Python the welcome window. So to use the PyCharm, there are two ways. So one is by creating new project, okay? So in PyCharm, project means folder, okay? So it's nothing but just a folder. So then open means open project, which means open folder. So we are going to open the, this folder. So you can click the open. So where is it? It's a desktop and anyone Python. Oops, do not double click. So you may see that this is the problem. So I'm going to, so just one click. Because as I said, the project is folder. So open, again, okay. then the desktop and anyone Python and anyone Python underscore folder. So this is the folder. This is the project in terms of and the PyCharm. So you can the, select the, this folder, then open. Then you will see the PyCharm window. This is uh, basically first, the PyCharm project. So let me explain the very briefly. So we download the zip file and unzip here anyone python intro 
and in Python intro is the folder it test the file. Similarly, in Python is the project. Project is the folder. Folder is the project in Python. So this is a project name, also folder name. Inside the folder, there is an intro.py file. That is, a, if you double click the intro.py. If you cannot see the folder, you can just check the left hand side. You can click the, this one to hide and click. So left hand side, so you can see the left hand side, the menu. So you can use the, this one. Hide and show the, this, the explorer. So you can uh, select the, your the folder or project name, or then you can click the double click. So you can see the right hand side of the file. So from now on, so in during the annual Python, I'm going to use the pie chart right hand side. And uh, if there is any slide or the other thing, left hand side. So you can just uh, see the together. So let me a little bit make it smaller for our the disk, then the, we can have the more space for the pie chart. So this is a pie chart like the this. Yes, yeah, so we are ready to use the Python program. So basically Python has the three part. One is the folder in project information. So you can see the project information left hand side. You can open many projects at the same time. So right now we have the one project and you have Python intro. Right hand side is the Windows for source code. You can click the file, intro.py, you can see the right hand side. Then where's the third one? To open the third one, please see the button. In, on the bottom, you can see the several menu here. You can click the terminal. Okay, you can click the terminal, then you can see something. The cursor is blinking. Here, we are going to run the program. Okay, so let's try. So for part, the Mac user, this is only for the Mac user. Let me show you the Mac user first, then the, I'm going to do the Windows user. So Mac user, so please type Python 3 intro dot py. Okay. So you if you enter the this one. Hello now. Try running Python 3 intro dot py because I forgot the name here. So we can type Python 3 intro dot py and the Lee. My name is Lee, so Lee. Then, hello Lee, you are done with the PyCharm setup process. I'm done, so I'm ready. If you can see the this menu, then you are ready to do the Python program. Then let's go back to the Windows. For the Windows, let me clear. The window clear all the way. Okay, that's better. And uh, let me quickly check the, whether I have the Python. Oh, I do not have. So I need to download the file. So let me copy and paste the, the this. Okay, so I already copied, right? Okay, then the, open the Then enter. Then we can download. So download file is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the file over here. So let me open show file. We don't need the disk. So download file is moved to here. And uh, we close. So it's in the annual Python folder. So we can double click and extract all. So you can extract. Then the, this is an extracted file. So we are ready. So it's the same thing. You can click the open. So where is it? 
is on the list and also desktop and anyone python there is anyone python intro and so be careful the windows actually when you unzip there are two folder two folder in a row so you need to move the inner so this one so you can just select the anyone python intro so this one so one more time only windows user when you unzip the file you need to select the most inside the folder anyone python underscore intro then the, you can select okay You can the uh, ignore, don't show me the T. I cannot see anything. You can just uh, click the left hand side to show Explorer. Yes, there is a anyone Python underscore intro. So you can click the this. Then you can see the intro.py. If you double click, you can see the file right hand side. Okay, so only two windows. You can, if you see the bottom, can select the terminal. Here, the Windows user type py. Okay, let me show you the example. Here, the Windows user py. Okay, py. The Mac user type the Python 3. Python 3, but Windows user is just a Pi. This is a Mac. This is a Windows user. Windows user, just a Pi. Okay, then Pi, the, this one is an intro, the .py, then give the name, Lee, then enter. So, hello, Lee, so you are done with the PyCharm set up process so we are all set okay if you see the such a message we are all set so one more time so you can download the file uh, this one you can download the file so where always anyone python folder that we create the first time so then the, you can download the file then the, the unzip the file so you can open, just select the open from the welcome windows. Then the left hand side, if you cannot see anything, the left hand side, click the project. Then you can see the left hand side, the project name and right hand side, the source code file contents. Then the bottom, if you click the terminal over here, terminal over here, then the, you are ready to type the command. What is the command? Windows user pi intro the py name. The pi the web user python3 intro the py that name. Then the, you will see the welcome message. If you see the error message, that means probably you may use the different the Python the version. It's okay. Okay, so it's not a big problem. So as long as you have the 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, you are fine. Even if you have the 3.9, you, you will be fine to run the Python Carol program later. So last thing. So last thing is, then is the PyCharm is the only way to do the python programming no there are more so in addition to the pycharm there is the idle idle is the default program so default program means is when you install python it's already installed the idle so let me show you the example quickly so if you start the you can use the search bar on windows so like the idle then you can see the either Python 3.8. This is a default IDE when you are using 
when you install the Python. So you can do the programming over here. How can I do that? Here, the editor. You can edit. You can share. So like this. But we are not going to use such a simple. It's too much simple. There is another one which is called uh, Tony. So Tony is a free software. It's a very, very simple IDE. So for example, the Raspberry Pi is a small computer device. So that uh, those uh, Raspberry Pi users use uh, such a thing. Nowadays, Atom is very popular. So Atom is more of the fancy, nice editor. So you can use Atom if you want. So this is a PyCharm, this is Idol, this is the Tony, and this is the Atom example. Sometimes you can use the command line without specific the, uh, I, the IDE, so such as the VI, VIN. Then the Python shell will be uh, working with uh, such a the, uh, VI. And also, the, if you are interested in the machine learning AI, Jupyter Notebook is uh, another way to do your Python programming. OK, I'm going to stop here. So today, we learned how to install and how to use the PyCharm. So if you couldn't follow me the today, please watch recorded video, then the try to install the PyCharm, then try to fix the problem if you have, then the next episode, we are going to learn the first kernel program with the PyCharm. Okay, so thanks so much for your attending. So we are going to see in the next episode. Thanks so much.